In 2014, three manufacturers, Audi, Toyota and Porsche, are the hot favourites for victory. But you never know. Should these teams run into trouble, a private squad could spring a surprise. We're going to ask Swiss outfit Rebellion Racing what these new regulations change for them. Well, we have now the choice of whether we want to take a hybrid car or a non-hybrid car. And if we take a non-hybrid car, the regulations are balanced so that we should not have a disadvantage. And it means that we should be a lot closer to the factory teams. So for us, it's quite exciting. We think that we have an opportunity to really challenge for race wins and podium finishes. So, this year what really counts is reliability. I think reliability is always very important, even more on a 24 hours race uh, in Le Mans. But in year one, I think this um, might be with the new regulations uh, a difficult part, especially for the works teams actually, that have a lot more new technology on board than us. If I understand rightly, 2014 is the year in which Rebellion Racing must shine. That's right, isn't it, Bart Hayden? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, we want to really be able to go to each race feeling that we have an opportunity to be on the podium and, you know, with the right mix of circumstances to even win. I want to go to the race with a feeling in my belly of, of excitement. What's expected from a private team is to do the best we can with what we've got and to be proud of our performance. We'll be there or thereabouts. Winning, though, is a dream. To finish in the top three would be really extraordinarily special and fantastic for the whole team. We're going to concentrate on a top three finish throughout the race. So what do you think of the private teams against you that don't have a hybrid system? On paper, we should clearly have a, a, a clear performance advantage uh, over them. But, as we know as well, with this uh, complex hybrid LMP1 cars uh, that we had to develop over the last two years, the biggest challenge will also be just to finish the races. And uh, we know as well with the performance, uh, for example, Rebellion was showing in, in previous year, they have always been quite close to the manufacturers as well. So we definitely have a, have a lot of respect for what they're doing year by year. And uh, especially in the first year, I think uh, they will be also competitors for us. Pierre, do the private teams entered in LMP1 have a real chance of winning? The private teams can race in LMP1 and they can opt for the light version without the expensive hybrid systems unlike the work squads. In the past we saw a Pescarolo and an Arica battling for victory. To pose a threat to the works teams, 100% reliability is a must and above all spend as little time as possible in the pits. That's what Rebellion is aiming for this year. Whoa. Next time we're going to have a look at the everyday motorist's car. In the meantime, I'm keeping up my training as I'd like to do the 24 hours and take the fight to the best. Oops, still a long way to go.